Hello, welcome to another episode in Kotlin programming tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to learn about variables in Kotlin. You can declare variables by using two keywords, var or val. For example, here in main function, I am going to declare two variables. First variable is job. Now I'm going to declare another variable by using the keyword VAL. Now I'm going to print the variables using println function. Now print salary. Now we can test the output of the program. Okay, so in this program we have two variables job and salary. But we use two different keywords for declare that variables. We use var and val. So the difference between var and val is if you declare a variable by using the keyword var, that variable is mutable. That means you can change, you can modify the variable value anywhere in the program. But if you declare a variable using the keyword VAL, that variable is immutable. That means you cannot alter the variable value anywhere in the program. For example, here I can modify the variable job. I modify the variable job value into manager. That is possible. But it is not possible to alter variable value. Sorry, salary. Because it is immutable. Here the compiler shows some error. This variable cannot be reassigned because it is declared by using the keyword VAL. That is the difference between these two keywords VAR and VAL. So in Kotlin, <coughs> it is not need to specify the variable type explicitly. The compiler will know the variable type during the assignment operation of that variable. For example here, we know variable job is a string, string variable because it is assigned with a string value and variable salary is an integer variable because it is assigned with an integer value. So in Kotlin it is no need to specify the variable type explicitly. But if you want to declare the variable type you can use like this. Here variable job is a string and variable salary is an integer value. Now we can try the output. Okay, so it is not necessary to initialize a variable during its declaration. So here we initialize the variable job and salary during the declaration. That is not necessary. So here I remove the initialization of these two variables. We can initialize the variable anywhere in the program. So here job is an integer value, sorry string value. I use the variable value into manager. Now we can initialize variable salary. Okay, now we can try the output of the program. So this is how we use variables in Kotlin.